<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, Claire and I are going to film a white claw tipsy Q&A. And I've been wanting to film one of these for a while now because I've really enjoyed watching them. I just think they're entertaining yeah. and people are more like relaxed and it's made us more relaxed. <laughs> so, Always. if you would like to continue watching this, you can see our true weird selves come out. Yeah, Anyways, real weird enjoy selves. the video. How oh, did you meet? So how did we meet? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yes, so we were literally, I was sitting in the lunchroom eating my lunch and she walks up <laughs> to me and just like sits down beside me and started asking me all these questions about like going to the gym and I don't even remember what you said. Do you remember anything? <laughs> I asked you if I could go to lift with you or something. I was yes. like, do you lift? And she said, yeah. I was like, you should let me go to the gym with you sometime. And then... And I feel like a lot of people like randomly will come up and ask people to work out and then it just like never happens. But we actually like made plans soon after that and started going probably like four times a week for a while. Yeah, we were. But before that, she worked for a CDS. And she worked for the sample, like the demo people that worked. We had to wear a hairnet and a hat. <laughs> and I remember she. I worked in like the back of the building at the time, and she was always back there, and I would never talk to her. No. I was like, oh. We just always saw each other, but. Yeah. Mm -mm. And people always told us we should meet, and we were like, no, it's okay. <laughs> Until finally, she just like sat down with me. Yeah. All right. What was your first impression? I guess we kind of answered that. I'm gonna mm -hmm. go first because. I remember, like, I creep on girls more than I've ever creeped on a guy, ever. Same. And <laughs> I remember <laughs> well, no, just, like, staring at her. I was like, I feel like we could be good friends, but she also kind of looks pissed off sometimes, <laughs> so I'm just not going to talk to her. <laughs> I kind of felt the same way about you. I just, like, I don't know. I felt awkward, I feel like, going up and talking to you because you didn't actually work for her. Us at the time. And yeah, I and I could wait. I don't know. I could go up to a guy and like randomly ask him something, but girls, no, I'm way more awkward. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I think that's probably why I talked to you first, then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess this is kind of it says, Are you in a relationship? Huh? <laughs> Never. <laughs> uh, I'm married, so yes. I just scare people. <laughs> <laughs> but I like constantly get to know what's going on in her life and try to set her up. I did try to do that once and um, <laughs> ended very poorly and I will never again. It wasn't. Mm -mm. No. It wasn't good, mm -mm. but you know, it is what it is. It started out like, ooh, I'll take the credit and now I just like to not bring up that that was my idea. Mm -hmm. Never again. Hey, worst things have happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> it started out good, guys. <laughs> um, what is an important quality in a man? Yeah. They have to be funny. That's a good one. I don't even know what I would say. I like hearing I like, what you have to say. That. Huh? <laughs> I just like hearing what you have to say. I feel like, like trust, like I have to be able to like, trust them. Mm -hmm. But I think more or less it's just like personality. Like as long as they can make me laugh, that's like key. Yeah. And they have to be like cute. But... <laughs> <laughs> and they kind of need to go to the gym otherwise. <sighs> See, that used to be like such a big thing for me. And I've only ever dated like douchebags. <laughs> so now I'm like, okay, I mean Okay, this is super random, but I'm like five, six and a half, and I grew really quickly, so I was always taller than all the guys. And I remember my dad always telling me, like, I'm gonna attract the tallest guys. Guys, I've never dated somebody over five ten, ever. Alex is like five nine, I think. Really? Yeah, five nine. Yeah, he, he had mm -hmm. the original. The tallest guy I've ever dated is 5'10". And my dad's like, you're gonna date someone like six something. No. Me. No. I date really tall guys. And my first boyfriend was like several inches shorter than me. What? Really? Yes. Okay. What is your favorite show of all time? And then like if you're watching a few, what's your favorite right now that you're watching? So. I know she has a problem. <laughs> She's really addicted what's right now. What's your favorite though? <laughs> Okay, my favorite show of all times is probably Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then we're also watching Friends right now. We're on the last season. And so I fun. absolutely love it, but we also had to take a little break because I got kind of bored of it mm -hmm. at one point. But we're back and I love it again. Okay. Yeah. Here Mine is Grey's. I just sit at home by myself. My glass of wine, I drink Grey's and cry every day. And then I snapped out, what do you mean, She cries like every day. <laughs> I and 
and I don't get okay, that. To be I fair, don't get that. I'm not a very like emotional person and I don't cry like ever. Like a guy will break up with me and I'm like, oh god, there we go again. But give me grace and I'm like sobbing. But the best part is it's not like she just tells me she's crying, like she'll send me Snapchat and like her makeup is <laughs> ruined. Crying? And like you can see streaks of tears and I'm just like, what is happening? Like I don't understand. <laughs> Like sob crying, like what is wrong with this girl? Nobody knows. If you've watched this, then you'll know. But I've cried. I think I cried in the shooter episode, and then I, I also cried at the start when that one girl got shot in like the supply closet or something. And then I definitely I cried in the one that April and Jackson lost their baby. That was traumatizing to me. <laughs> no, I but she just cries all the time, and I don't get. That. I know nothing will happen, and I'm crying. <laughs> Oh my God. Next question. Next. Next. <laughs> Do you plan on competing or competing again? So I guess I would say yes. I'm actually starting next Monday, which is actually Labor Day, which I'm really pissed off about. Just skip that. I think I'm going to either tell him I'm going to start on Tuesday or my mom just texted me today and asked if we wanted to have Labor Day on Sunday. Mm -hmm. So if we do Labor Day on Sunday, then I will start on Monday. Otherwise, there's no way I'm missing my last holiday. No way. Mm -hmm. So yes, I am and I'll be prepping the first, so I guess that's the first week of September. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then my first show is end of April. So it's going to be very long. long so it's Okay, I wanted to compete. <laughs> No, she's still considering it. I don't am. crush it. Okay, I am, I am. I, I want to do it. I just, I don't know, first of all, I don't feel like I'm ready to compete. To be fair, like that's my biggest thing. Do you see those arms? Do you see them? She is ready. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I will have such a hard time with eating. I'm gonna be like Lydia, you have to hang out with me every second of every day because I'm gonna eat everything. I have no self control. She gets like, on a whole nother level of hangry like I don't it shouldn't even be called hangry it's like a something else because I like worry about our friendship <laughs> I'm just being honest like I feel like if something ever happens if we're both on prep like we just have to say nope this is all prep or my husband's gonna have to come in and like force us to hang out <laughs> Uh, yeah. But she's very scary when she's hungry. Yeah. She told me that if we ever get in a fight again, she's just going to show up at my doorstep with cookies. So like, Pretty much. Yeah, it's a whole other problem. But I, I just love... Um, wine or beer? Ooh, that's such a hard question. Mm -hmm. I thought of that one. I know, I know your answer. Mm -hmm. I'm not really a beer person at all. Like, I really enjoy White Claws a lot. But I'll always go like white wine and not red wine. I cannot do red wine. She always she tries to get me to try them, and I just really don't like them. There's one that I have like kind of enjoyed, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't even buy it. Yeah, I try it every <laughs> single time. I get her to taste it. Yeah, I don't know how you're gonna answer this one. I know that's so hard because I I would I would say wine over beer because I drink wine more often. But like I love craft beers and I love IPAs and trying she's like beers. the cool bro girl. Like she can just hang out with the guys because she likes the IPAs and I'm like, can I have my fruity beer, please? Or yeah, but it's probably single because every guy in my life calls me bro or brother or dude or like man. <laughs> like not like, hey Clara. It's like sub brother. <laughs> So don't drink beer, apparently. <laughs> Just ask for the fruity white wine. Okay, now on a very serious note, what is your biggest insecurity? <laughs> we're both like literally talking about this as we're setting up the camera because we were fighting over the side. So I have two. And oh, the yeah. first one, I feel like I'm going to have to give like a big backstory. And it's going to get really deep real quick. So I've had a lot of issues with like eating and food and body image issues. But the thing that like, I just don't understand, like I started having issues, I remember being nine years old in swim lessons and like I wouldn't take off my pants or my t-shirt until everybody's in the pool because I was so embarrassed of like my stomach, which why is a nine year old like that? And I was homeschooled yeah. and my mom was always in really good shape and she was never like, she was never somebody that weighed herself or ever talked about her weight because she didn't want us to worry about it. And I wasn't allowed to weigh myself, but I don't know why oh, really? it started so young. So anyways, all that to say, I still have like, I would still say it's my stomach. 
um for yeah. no reason. Even when I'm like it. deep in prep, I would remember like I would take off my shirt to just go try and work out in a sports bra and I'd still like run mid workout and put my hoodie back on. Really? Like a few weeks out from my show, which is pathetic. Yeah, and now I'm like, oh, you look good. <laughs> I don't even feel like it. I never have noticed this uh, ever in our friendship. I've never been like, oh my gosh, she has a stomach. Like, I have never been drawn to that. She has like the biggest butt in the world. So, first of all, <laughs> Any guy or any, not even guy, any person that's looking at her is looking at her butt. Like, they're not paying attention to anything else. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's the hip thrust. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so it's always been that, but then another one, it's not as, I guess it's kind of an insecurity. Like, with pictures and videos, it would be my, like, right side of my face because I was in an accident a few years ago and I shattered my orbital bone and broke my nose. So I have, like, titanium. And I feel like my one eyelid goes a little bit different, so I call this my bad side because it really is bad. But I like just in like day to day life, like it's not something that I'm embarrassed about. It's just I notice it like pictures of videos. Mm -hmm. So I would still say like my biggest insecurity would be my stomach. Okay, that was a really long answer. Yeah. Your turn. <laughs> I feel like yeah, your stomach. I feel like is your biggest insecurity. Mm -hmm. Which I don't get, but you know, um. I feel like, I don't really care anymore. I did growing up, like I hated my teeth. I mean, now I don't care so much, but I don't want to display the fact that my teeth aren't straight. Like, I don't care anymore. Like, I'm totally confident in myself, so like, it doesn't bother me, but I don't, I don't know. know. I don't I, know if I would call that my biggest insecurity. No, and I think if it was your biggest insecurity, though, you would have like changed it already. Yeah, cause I, and I could get like Invisalign or something, but I don't really I don't, now I don't know if I want to because all my friends are like, no, it makes you you. But it really does make you you. Yeah. I don't know. I just, this last question, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the way that this is worded. It says, what's your favorite fitness influencer? One, I'm not really a huge fan of the word influencer. I think it's kind of stupid. Yeah. I don't even know, like, how to explain why I don't like it. It just feels, I don't know. It is. Because I don't really feel like these people are, like, influencing me to do anything. I just, like, enjoy their content and then following their journey or yeah. like getting ideas from them but it's not really like I'm influenced mm -hmm. to be like them no and I also feel like I go in like moods of who I enjoy like who I like watching their YouTube channel mm -hmm. and like who I even like watching their stories on Instagram because I'll like watch everything for a few weeks yeah. and then I'll like want to break from them or yeah I don't know because like I used to be super into Whitney Simmons which oh, I really? Yeah, like that she's all I watched. And I think she's a fun person, yeah. but I just don't really, like, I don't I don't ever search her anymore. Yeah. And I rarely watch them. And I'm also not a fan of people that you can, like, it's clear that they're really trying to be funny. Yeah. Like, I'm not a super funny person, and I know that, <laughs> and I accept that, so I'm not going to say you're trying, because I'm yeah. just not. <laughs> I'm not really funny, I'm just really weird. Like, um, to answer that question, I feel like Megan Grubb is, like, one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. But I don't care for like her Instagram. I like her YouTube videos because I oh, think that's she's like I the am. sweetest person. But her Instagram, I mean, I like like her posts, but like her stories and stuff are like boring. But that's just how I feel. I mean, that just is how I feel about it. But I feel like if I could spend like if somebody gave me the opportunity to spend a day with anyone, it would be Megan Rob. Yeah. Because I just I don't know. I just don't know how you could like love her. She's so cute. But yes, I agree. And I also just feel like her Instagram is more just like fashion, which is cool. It's just. I'm not really a fashionable person. <laughs> I don't know. I try sometimes and I'm like, what was I wearing? <laughs> Why did I do that? She's the person that wears Crocs. <laughs> and I judge you for that a little bit. <laughs> Crocs are great. Have you ever taken out your trash in your Crocs? Because <laughs> if you haven't, you're wrong. <laughs> okay, moving on. <laughs> that guy, he did it real quick. <laughs> okay, well, I think we've answered about everything this is a very long video and it's gonna take me forever to edit but that's okay <laughs> but anyways if you guys made it through to the end thank you you are the bomb thank you goodbye have a good day <laughs>